Last year when we planted our garden, we walked outside one day and our cauliflower, our cabbage, all of our big leafy green vegetables, we were shocked to discover holes all in them. Let me show you. This year we've done a lot better, but at the first sign of a hole in your plant, chances are you have cabbage worms or cabbage looper. And yesterday we walked out and we found a hole on that leaf and then we found one right here, just a very small one. And we realized that we have cabbage worms. You'll know they're in your yard when you see little white moths flying around because they'll lay eggs on your plants. And if you inspect the back sides, you're likely to find the worms, but they're very sneaky and they blend in. Let me show you. Right here I'm going to insert a picture of what a cabbage worm will look like. Quite often they'll blend in almost perfectly with the back side of your plant and you'll find them on the undersides of the leaves. I'm going to show you a very easy way to combat them and take them out. Once you see the, the holes, you can stop them dead in their tracks and your problem will go away. Now in order to combat these worms, and caterpillar worms, what you need to get is some BT. It stands for Bacillus thuringiensis, I believe. It's organic, it's OMRI listed, so it's organically safe. In fact, you can spray this and you can harvest on the same day with it. It's very, very good stuff. What this does is this kills uh, worms, caterpillars, and it'll also take out uh, tomato green worm, green worms. So this is very good stuff. This will not hurt earthworms, and it won't hurt birds. And like I said, it's safe for same day uh, harvesting and consumption on humans. It doesn't affect humans. It only affects um, the caterpillar worms. This stuff will take out the cabbage looper, um, cabbage worms, tomato horn worms, bag worms, canker worms, tent caterpillars, um, gypsy moths. All the stuff you don't want hanging around in your vegetable garden, this will take out. So it's really good. And all you got to do is put a tablespoon of this in a gallon of water, pump up sprayer, and then spray the tops and bottoms of your leaves. Very simple. Now I picked mine up over at Grow Fresh in Fort Smith. Um, it's Monterey BT Garden Safe. Also makes a brand that you can get online for oh, around $12, $13 plus shipping. But uh, this is very handy and a necessary thing to have in the garden if you don't want holes all in your plants. Applying it is very simple. You're just going to pump the sprayer up. You're going to spray the tops of your leaves and the undersides of your leaves. And that, my friends, is it. You'll need to apply this about every seven to ten days once you see them. And you'll also want to do it after the rains. But it'll stop them dead in their tracks. Um, before you apply it, it's a good idea to test, you know, one part of a plant, make sure it's not going to have a negative reaction to it, but you can also use this on your tomatoes too. I like to also saturate the soil around it in case they're crawling around down there. But once you apply this, those little worms will not be eating on there. If they take a bite of it, they die. And if they soak in it, they die. And so, about every seven to 10 days, you reapply. And you take them out before they take your plant out. And like I said, if you see those gypsy moths, or the moths uh, hanging around your, uh, your yard, you're just as well to go ahead and start your application because they'll be laying eggs on there. And when they, uh, when they wake up, they're going to be hungry. And they're going to want to dine on your plants before you do. But that's all there is to it, folks. Tops and bottoms of the leaves with a little BT. You'll take them out and it's safe, uh, safe for you, safe for your family, safe for your plants, but it's not safe to those bad guys. Guys, Reagan 971 here. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great spring.